Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Today we will learn how to give a neon effect to any text. And with this, you can make something like this. Let's head over to Premiere. First, enable the text tool by clicking on the text tool icon, or just pressing T on your keyboard, and now we can start typing. Here, I'm typing neon. Now, we'll adjust the text size. In the description, I have mentioned the text name and music that I have used in this video. In the effect controls panel, under the text, you can change the color of the text. I'm using blue as the fill color. And dark blue as the stroke color. You can select any color of your choice. Now, we'll make 5 copies of this layer, by pressing and holding the alt button, along with the left click of the mouse. Just drag one track up and do this 5 times. After this, select the 5th layer, 2nd from the top, and from the effect controls panel, disable the stroke. Do the same for the 6th layer, and also change the fill color to black for this layer. Now it's time to add some effects to these layers. For that, we'll come over to the effects panel, search for bevel alpha, and drag and drop this effect on the 6th layer. Now search for the linear wipe effect, and drop this effect on the 1st and 5th layers. Now, look for the vertical flip effect and drop it on the first layer. The last effect would be the Gaussian blur effect that we will put on the first four layers. You can also apply this effect at once by selecting all four layers. For now, we will disable these four layers. Select the 6th layer, and come over to the effect controls panel. Here, under the bevel alpha, change the edge thickness value to 10. Change the light angle value to 160. And increase the light intensity to 0.70. After this, come down to the opacity option and change blend mode to screen option. Now select the 5th layer and again come over to the effect controls panel. And under the linear wipe, set the value of transition completion to 50%. And set the wipe angle to 0. When we increase the feather value, you can see the effect on the text. And it should look like this after applying these values to the last two layers. Now we will enable the second, third, and fourth layers. Select the fourth layer, and on the effect controls panel, increase the stroke to any value. Later, we can change these values, and like this, we will also increase the blurriness. Now we can see the glow effect on our text. Now we will also increase the blurriness value of the third and second layers for the glowing effect. Before moving on to the next step, I'll just adjust the stroke and blurriness values. You can set these values according to your text and taste. Now let's create reflections. For that, we will enable the first layer, which is at the bottom, and select this layer. Then come to the effect controls panel, and with the help of the position option, we'll bring this text under the other texts. Note that the liner wipe effect should be placed over the vertical flip effect, otherwise, it will also be reflected. Under the linear wipe effect, set the transition completion value anywhere near 10%, the wipe angle value to 0, the feather value to 265, and the blurriness value to 110. After this, we can also see reflections of the text. Now let's make it flicker. For that, we have to nest layers. Select first 5 layers. Give a right click, select the nest option, and click on OK. From the tools section select the razor tool, or just press C on your keyboard. 
Now cut anywhere on the layer, move one or two frames forward, and cut again. Do this on the rest of the frame and delete all these frames. For deletion, just click and select the frame and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Ok, now we have also completed the flickering effect, but before final playback, just render for that and hit the enter button. Let's see what we have created. If you liked this video, show your support with a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.